Hi, today I'd like to uh, talk a little bit about two kinds of uh, fixed carrier oils. Um, on the one hand, this is, this is something that confuses people. On the one hand are drying oils, and the other hand are dry oils. And you might think to yourself, well, that's just two ways of saying the same thing, but they actually mean something quite different, and that's what I want to talk about today. Um, drying oils literally dry to the touch. Uh, they're the kind of oils that they're polyunsaturated. They're the kind of oils I have a painting here. Linseed oil, uh, which is uh, pressed from flax seeds. So flax seeds are nutritional supplements and when it's the oil is processed for industrial use or for painting, it's called linseed oil. And pigments are ground with the uh, linseed oil and then in time it dries to the touch so it, the painting isn't disturbed and the when these drying oils are very fresh they in in the in uh, the case of flax oil you'll find it oftentimes this is one brand um flax oil it's it's in a black container and it's um stored in a refrigerator either at home or at the store and it's because of this drying, uh, this ability to dry when it comes into contact with oxygen and, and heat. And when it's in this form, it's a nutritional supplement. And we can also use these oils in our skincare as well. And they're excellent for certain kinds of skin conditions. But it's what's vital about them when we're using them on our bodies or in um, as supplements. We they need to be completely fresh, and so the difference between this type of oil, if we're using them for painting, we want them to dry. If we're using them on our skin and our supplements, we want them as fresh as possible, so that once we consume them. Uh, they can carry oxygen within our body for our, our for our nutritional needs, and so storing these types of oils, flax flaxseed, or uh, grapeseed oil is another one, uh, kiwi, chia. There's any number of highly polyunsaturated oils that want to be stored cool and dark and um, and used up fairly quickly because they don't last forever. So we talked about, uh, that's the drying oils. Now let's talk about what a dry oil is. So if, and if you think about the word dry, it's, it's, it doesn't feel wet. So dry oils are literally oils you put, you can put on your skin and they feel, they feel dry to the tea, touch. They absorb to the top layers fairly quickly. They, um, uh, they're they excellent for people with very oily skin. The, uh, the dry, the, these, these uh, compounds that I'll talk about in a minute actually help to kind of to calm the overproduction of oils in uh, people with very oily skin. And so that's, they're very useful to know about in skincare. Um, what these, compounds are, uh, one of the uh, most prominent dry oils is called camellia seed oil. Now camellia is the same botanical family as that we get our black and green tea from. And if you drink much tea, you know that, that it's very high in tannins. It's, um, they can, if a very strong cup of tea can make your mouth pucker and, and um, you, you feel it, you feel kind of gritty on your teeth. And that those are natural tannins. And so uh, in the case of skincare oils, they can help tighten skin that might be too, um, over, too overproducing of uh, its own natural oil. But it's not, the tannins in uh, carrier oils like that aren't so strong that they're going to actually uh, tan your skin because the tannins are isolated and used to tan leather. So we're not talking about that level, but um, the difference between dry oils and drying oils is quite different. And uh, that's what I wanted to share today.